Hi everyone and welcome to Ultimate Exercise Ball class at Core Maximus. Thank you so much today for joining us. If you haven't yet, we would love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So take a second, hit that subscribe button and make sure you've done the warm up before you join us. Today, absolutely, um, you might need the wall for our cardio. I have three sets of weights here. You absolutely can use one set, a lighter set. So um, if, if that's what you have, absolutely, let's grab a lighter set of weights, a mat, a ball, and my trusty stopwatch. Six moves, one minute each. Intermediate, advanced, you can repeat the circuit two to three times. Let's get started. Okay, team. All right, so first minute here, you are going to sit on your trusty little ball. You are going to bring your feet a little bit closer together. You're gonna lift one foot up off the floor. We'll go for 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other for a single leg bounce, which looks like hands are coming close to the ball. We're gonna lift, drop, little baby sit, drop. Okay, if this does not work for you, Place both feet on the floor, right? Both feet on the floor, sit, little baby hold. We're working quads, we're working hamstrings, we're working glutes, and we're having fun. Okay, almost there if you're on that single leg. Let's switch sides, opposite foot, planted flat on the ground, strong through core, strong through chest. Keep those fingertips close to the ball so that it's there when you come down to bounce. Woo. I almost went sideways there. <laughs> okay, remember, you can absolutely have both feet on the floor. <sighs> this side, I am struggling with. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Let's go one more good one. No, that didn't count. One more good one. There, okay, so good. You have to laugh at yourself. Next one, chest press with a crunch. So I'm going to go just a little bit heavier for this today, but that's what I feel like doing. That doesn't mean you need to feel like that. Okay, so another thing you can use is bottles of water at home or cans of soup. Start seated on the ball. We're going to walk ourselves forward until low back is resting on the ball. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Palms face knees, chin away from chest. Little down with shoulders. We're coming up for a crunch, pressing those weights in line with our chest. One minute here. Little down, exhale up. Okay, my low back is resting into the ball. My low back is not firing on these. My palms are down. My wrists are in neutral. This is actually pretty heavy to do this version of a chest press. I thought the stopwatch stopped. Keep going for me. Ball isn't moving. When I come down, my elbows are coming out to the side in line with shoulders. Weights are in line with my chest. And then I do a little baby crunch with an active push. Okay, almost, we're almost there. Couple more. This is actually really, and rest. That was a lot of weight for me on those, on those presses. At any time, if I had felt like it was getting way too much, I would have absolutely stopped and switched weights. Okay, so I am dropping weights for the next one. It's a chest fly with a single leg lift. So my um, beginners keep both feet on the floor for me on this. Head and shoulders are going to rest on the ball. One leg bent, and we'll do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. And opposite leg is straight, heel on the ground. Keep our hips up nice and strong. Both arms up, palms face each other, okay? Let's open up to the side, and then from here, as those arms lift, so does my leg. And then I control back down. Okay, beginners, keep both feet on the floor. Intermediate, we do not lift that leg as high. <sighs> really strong on that planted leg. <sighs> maybe again, my intermediate, maybe we lift half a millimeter. Maybe we 
lift arms, then come back down, then play with a little leg lift. Advance everything up, everything down. Let's switch sides. My beginners, you are keeping, again, both feet on the floor, and you can have both legs bent, or you can play with that one leg straight and one leg bent. Hips up strong. Weights in the heel of that bent leg. Head and shoulders resting on the ball. Grip on my weight, nice and relaxed. Last one here, and I'm meeting in line with my chest, not my face. Amazing. Those were hard. Okay, let's keep our weights down. Let's rest all the things. We have one minute here of cardio, so we're gonna hold that ball in line with our chest. One foot forward, one foot back, switch and lift. Okay, cardio. We're getting our heart rate up. If hopping is it, can, I wonder if you can hear my feet squeaking on the mat. Okay, if hopping is not a piece of the puzzle, we step and tap. Arms working with those legs to get our heart rate up a little bit more. Don't forget to breathe. Halfway there. Light on your feet. Yeah, halfway there. Okay. This one's a doozy, especially after those chest flies. My version of cardio is just keep moving. So if that means you march in place, jog around your house, that is amazing. Five seconds, imperfect. Rest, holy, I'm so sorry I'm breathing so hard into the into the microphone. Okay, I'm now going to my lightest set of weights for tricep with single leg extension hold. Beginners, both feet on the ground. Okay, start seated on the ball. Heart rate comes down. Lighter set of weights. We're walking ourselves forward. Hips up strong, feet are hip width apart. Arms are going straight up towards the ceiling. Your hands are directly above your shoulders. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. We're gonna lift one leg and then bend and straighten those arms. Okay, breathe. So on the other, our chest, our chest version of these, we were lifting that leg up and down. Now we are going for a static hold. With my upper body, it is only my lower switch sides, my lower arm that's moving. Take a break here for a second. Regroup with that upper body, wrist in neutral, grip relaxed. Okay, if you're lifting that opposite leg, let's lift and down and up we go. This is a very hard workout for me. Whew. Hopefully you're feeling challenged and excited about the challenge as opposed to, oh darn it, I'm struggling. That's awesome. Good for you for trying. And let's go one more. One more. That's amazing. Okay. I don't know what that looks like right now on camera, but that is hard. Everything so far tonight has been hard. Um, it is not easy. Not easy for me at all. Okay, hanging mountain climbers. This is the one, i tuck my shirt in here. This is the one, if you need to be at a wall, I'll come here, absolutely push the ball into a wall for me. If you are on a mat, you're all on or all off for safety. Okay, so. Hands are going on the ball, hanging mountain climbers. One foot in, one foot back. We're going to float and switch. Float and switch, okay? One minute here, active push into the ball. Ball can be at the wall. Floating, so it's a mountain climber that is slow, paused, 
trying to hover as long as I can in the air, sweating. You can hear, I said, I'm sure you can hear me breathing tonight. My hands are turned out slightly, making it a little bit easier on my wrist. I'm not rushing this. This isn't how quick can I go, but how much can I try and use my core to pop my hips up towards the ceiling to float my one foot from the front to the back. Woo. And then, of course, I fight for balance as I have that one knee in and one foot on the floor. Two more. And last one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Everybody, that was amazing. That was incredible. I should sit down. If you're still with me, awesome. Share this with someone that you might think might enjoy this one. I laughed because that was a hard, hard workout. That was amazing. That was wonderful. So super proud of you. Enjoy the cool down. I'll see you next time.